Hey, here's a practice question that's looking at the differences between RNA and DNA. Uh, this is uh, question one, page 22. Very typical question. You're going to see something like this uh, probably in your final and also in your uh, unit exam. So this is a good one to go over. Let's take a look at it. Uh, here's a segment of DNA. Now we know that's one of the differences. DNA is double-stranded. Uh, whereas uh, RNA is single-stranded, but they're only showing one strand of DNA in that. Uh, there are some other differences. We know the ribose sugar is a little bit different. For deoxy, our DNA, it's a deoxy ribose sugar missing an OH group. And uh, with RNA, it's a ribose sugar. It actually has an extra OH group on it. Uh, the other key difference, and this is a big one that they always will talk about, is that uh, Seg our DNA has thymine, adenine, guanine, and cytosine. Of course, these guys being paired up. The biggest difference, though, is that with RNA, there is no thymine. Your cell takes its place. Still has A, and these guys bind up, and still has guanine, still has cytosine. Okay, so that is the key difference. Most of these questions are going to focus on that primary differences. There is no thymine. Your cell takes the place of thymine when we're dealing with RNA. And again, that's RNA, whether it's messenger RNA, transfer RNA, or ribosomal RNA. Uh, there is never thymine in place in that. Okay, so let's take a look at what the question's asking. It says, uh, uh, if structure one, so structure one here on both of these is the sugar. Okay, the five carbon sugar. And structure number uh, three, actually I got that wrong, so number Three is the sugar. Number one in both of these is the phosphate, backbone. So we know that the backbone of both DNA and RNA is going to have a sugar phosphate backbone. And then we have some base pairs here. So they're saying uh, structure eight, that's this one. And they wanna know when you combine those together, you're going to get, first of all, we know that a nucleotide is made up of exactly that, the phosphate group, the sugar, right? And it's a five carbon sugar. And it's also going to have a base, one of the four bases. So we know that that's going to make up, when we combine the three, a nucleotide. So right off the bat, I can eliminate, use that process of elimination, uh, process of elimination that we've talked about in the past. We can cross out amino acid, and, and that's not a nucleic acid. A nucleic acid is a bunch of them together, right? A bunch of nucleotides strung together is a, a nucleic acid. So that just leaves us right now to A or B. So again, use process of elimination. We have a 50% chance of getting this question right. Okay, uh, so if we put those together, now this is where it gets a bit tricky. If we take a look at, let's say, number four, you can see that four is found in both DNA and RNA, okay? You can see that five is found in both DNA and RNA. You can see number six is found in both DNA and RNA, and you can see seven isn't and eight isn't. So we know something already, just when we did our first little review of this question, we know that RNA has you, your cell, uh, and doesn't have thymine. So because eight doesn't exist in any of these guys, that probably can lead us to the conclusion that eight would be your cell. And that's generally how you wanna take a look at these questions where they're asking you to compare DNA with RNA. Find out what doesn't, what's not found in the RNA molecule uh, uh, that is in the DNA. So when we do that, we know that our answer here is B, a uracil nucleotide. Okay, and again, those are very typical questions. Look for that uracil as being the distinguishing feature between RNA and DNA. Okay, any questions on this? Uh, give me an email and we can talk about it. Thanks, guys. Bye.